Hey there, hi there, ho there, hello there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Adam, and you're with me at Caputi Inc. Uh, in my office currently, because I forgot to shoot an intro video in the shop, but nonetheless, uh, the video here, we're going to finish, wrap up my gooseneck trailer project. Do the, show you the chain and binder rack finished, how we did that, the light bar. Springs for the ramp, step for the old man. We moved another step to the other side. Um, so we're just going to go through everything I did there. So enjoy. This is a light bar that I had on a plow rig that I put on its lid a couple years ago and the wires had pulled out of it. I just had it sitting upstairs in storage. Uh, I should have caught it on camera, but I took this this end plate off and these screws and there was enough wire in there to add wire back to with a couple of uh, good quality butt connectors. Then I fed this just red and black wire out of here, threw a little shrink wrap on it and put a new cover on it and I think that's going to be our excessively large light. We'll just make some mounts that bolt onto here and the, that bolt on here and they'll come up around and catch that guy there. and. And we'll just wire this into the uh, red wire from the trailer wiring, which has constant power for us. And then we'll just put a switch on it so we can have it when we want it. So. Uh, here we've got another little tasty Picadillo I order online. It's a chain and binder box. Let's uh, open it up and see what it looks like. See her there. Hang it up. Flip her over. Chain's in there. Bolts on real nice. Flips up, locks down the hole. Put everything in, so we'll get that installed later. I got it all mounted here. Uh, I tucked some plate. Cut out a simple shape, put a bend in it, bolted it to it. Should be able to see in the next week with that thing. There we go, one thing down, 10 more to go. All right, up next on the trailer here, we're gonna replace the springs for the assist for lifting the ramps here. Uh, we gotta get this big bar out. Uh, it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be nothing like my friend Jake's cousin. So uh, let's get started. All right, uh, it's coming along. We got a couple inches out there. A uh, little lubrication can't hurt, so uh, we're gonna do that. See if we can't help ourselves out. Nobody likes to chafe, so uh, see if that helps. All right, so while hammering, there's a small tab that a bolt goes through to hold the bar in place, so it wouldn't wiggle out as if it was going fucking anywhere. Ah, uh, that broke off, so I'm gonna have to get the old welder out and. Uh, bubble gum a piece back on there so we got something to pull it out with. All right kids take notes. Pulling out I guess wasn't so hard. A few of you could take a lesson from that. Uh, anyways we got our springs out. You can see we got a new one here. Here's the old one. Uh, flipped around. Apples to apples there. Uh, I got part of it broken here. Not to mention, you can tell it's a little distorted, so we'll get the new one on there, make it a little easier to pick up the ramps. All right, it's in. Uh, instead of welding another tab on the end of that bar to put a bolt through like it was originally, I just took and bent the tab over. Uh, that bar shouldn't have to come out again while I still own the trailer, but uh, if it does, I'll just knock that bent over tab off or try and straighten it. Well, the new one on there. Uh, on to the next. There it is, chain and binder rack, finished product. 
left the lids off because we would have had to slide the rack down another eight inches or so so that the lid would open and stay open. That uh, just wasn't going to work for me. So they won't be as secured. So if I find myself at a gentleman's club, I'll have to be on the watch, you know, maybe even hire some sort of uh, guard dog blind man combo. You know, he'll hear him coming. The dog will see him. They can do some sort of tag team assault. Uh, the box got a little bit of a slice and dice there, kind of like Caitlyn Jenner. It uh, used to be longer and harder. Now it's a little shorter, a little less, but it is, you know, it's open on the one end now. It's much wider open, if you understand what I'm saying. Uh, finished product there. The other day at Red Lobster, I was enjoying an ultimate feast, and I ran into a former shrimp boat captain. He explained to me that it's nice to have a hand tool rack on the truck. So I'm going to add a couple of pieces of square tubing, just weld them onto the side here, just a couple of tacks, just to hold them in place uh, for a shovel, a spade, a rake, and a broom. So uh, let's get to messing this thing up. All right, here's the stuff I ordered online. Uh, it's a three-step pull-out deal, uh, bolts to the side of the trailer here, we got that guy bolts to the side of the trailer, and the step here will slide in and out, we'll give one, two, three steps, that'll help the old man get up on the trailer, so we uh, get our skiddy tied down real nice, and uh, doesn't fly off going down the road, maybe you take a corner a little too fast, at the intersection of, uh, is it Highway 9, and 76 and you flip it over on its lid and you know you crush your excavator. We don't want that We want to tie things down real well. Anyways, let's get to it There it is completed. There's my gooseneck tech over trailer Rewired bunch of different accessories on there that we added. We'll go over those here. We'll go around back Got the new LED tail lights of course the new springs for the ramps We've got LED License plate light there even though we're gonna leave it up there for now strobes LED marker lights in the middle there. We took the tops off these ramps that somebody else had added They're a lot easier to flip up and down now down the side, all LED marker lights again, and the strobes. Up top there, you got the light bar. Holders for a shovel, a spade, rake, and a broom. Always come in handy on a job site. Chain and binder rack holder there. We move the step from the driver's side to the passenger side here. Um, all rewired there. Got the tow rig here. 6 liter automatic all bulletproof by Ridge Top Diesel. Go see Austin there, he does a hell of a job. It's got the head studs in it. Uh, all the deleting that needs to be done to make these things more efficient. Doesn't have a tuner on it yet, but we'll see what happens. Again, the chain and binder rack. Light bar, we got the switch for the light bar. Ooh, there we go. Got some light there. Got our new step for pops. There you go. And there it is, finito. Hope you enjoyed. That's gonna wrap up the three part saga of my trailer refurbishment there. I'd say that was a much better saga than say Twilight, Team Jacob. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed. Check us out on Facebook. Please give me a like if you liked the video and uh, subscribe for future videos. Thanks.